Hi. <laughs> it's Friday when I'm recording this, and I just wanted to put a clip here before all the other clips just to explain what this video is. So I just randomly started recording this on the 6th of June, and I've just been recording random clips, and I just thought I'm just gonna post them so you guys have something to watch because I always find it difficult to find this is my gum, that's disgusting. I took it out for you guys. Um, just because I find there's nothing to watch on the weekend, so I just decided to do something for you. I'm in the yarn store, you're gonna see some more of it later, but yeah. Um, the next clips are random. I'm sorry if you don't like this video, but I'm just gonna post it. Mm, kiss, kiss, I'm gonna throw this gum away. 6th of June, me, start talking. It is currently the 6th of June, Sweden's national day. So I've had some time off today. I have time off almost every day, so <laughs> nothing different. But I am finishing up my Ingrid sweater. Let's take a closer look. Oh my god. I've lived in a haze ever since I started. This is the Gabby Hanna meme. Meme. Mean? I've lived in a haze ever since I started this sweater and I've had no idea when I started this. So I went into my Ravelry earlier today and I started this sweater on the 26th of May. So it's been less than two weeks. That's kind of insane, not in a good way. I've had some pain in my wrist and I should definitely have taken a break. I didn't. But I will for a couple of days now. Hopefully, if I can, I. it's really hard for me not to knit, but I'll try. I have 18 rows of ribbing to do, but I'm just... Ugh, I really want to block this tonight so that it has some time to dry. I'm working at the yarn store this week and I would love to wear this. But this is always the thing when I'm almost done with a project. I lose interest. Today, it has taken me all day just to do this bottom ribbing. So yeah, I'm just gonna make 16 rows of ribbing. Then I'm gonna do two setup rows and then do a tubular bind off. And let me tell you, this sweater, it does not look too small or anything. I feel like the sleeves look very short, but keep in mind that it's dropped shoulder as well so it like comes down to here almost so and I haven't tried it on <laughs> I just haven't had the energy to do that I was talking about how I'm putting all of my trust in my swatch because my swatch like grew double the size almost after I washed it so I'm just gonna do the tubular bind off tonight I'm gonna let it sit in the water for at least an hour because that's what I did with my swatch and then we're gonna block it. I bought something from Amazon. I don't like to buy things from Amazon, but sometimes it's it's just gonna happen. And not a lot of times. This is my second time ordering from Amazon. Maybe third. No. These Knit Pro rainbow blockers. Cause this when I block things, I wash all of my knits after I finish them. But yeah, when I block things, I usually just let them sit in the water. Just so it feels... You never know where your yarn has been. So just, um, I, I like to clean my stuff. And then just lay it out, but I don't pin it down anymore. Maybe like in some areas if I need to. But I usually just push it down and let it sit. This, however really needs to be blocked because you have look at the sleeves here for example you want it to doot. and also this ribbing is i want it to be more spaced out and then here on top of the sleeve and i just i could not imagine sitting with like singular t-pins and i feel like it wouldn't be symmetrical if i did that so that's why i bought these ugly i mean Pride? How did I not how did I not think of that? Wait. <clears throat> Be who you are for your pride. So, 
yeah so i'm just like i don't know if i should do this while it's dry i think it's fine yeah um so i'm i'm so excited <laughs> to block this because i know it's gonna be be a huge difference and i am holding my thumbs in sweden we say hold our thumbs instead of crossing our fingers i'm holding my thumbs that this will bloom like crazy but yeah it was a swedish national day today we usually have pretty nice weather but yeah nope this is not it but at least it's still pretty light outside and it's 10 p.m currently uh, but when it's sunny outside it's usually a lot brighter at this time but yeah rain is coming these are my, these are creepers these are just a my before you say anything else i think you need to talk to your wife okay you have one i need to get a hold of um we need our boy panda pmp good morning everybody I put on a pair of pants for you because I had to. Here she is. Let's do like a little side by side thing. I'm so awkward. Yeah, let's do, let's do a little side by side. Disgusting, sorry. <laughs> of how it looked before and then now. It grew like crazy. Obviously, I noticed that it grew and I was very thankful for that when it was on the blocking mats. And I was even kind of worried that it didn't grow enough until I just put it on today. Um, yeah. When I put it on, I was so happy that it wasn't too small. And when I blocked it, I stretched it out this way. Not even a lot, I just kind of pushed it. I didn't stretch it on the length whatsoever, but it just relaxed and became very long. I put on pants for a reason. Before this, I wore a black skirt that goes like to my toes. <laughs> that, that was not a look, because it was very just tent, very much tent. But here you can see where it ends. Ow, <laughs> but, but, I don't know how to speak English. Uh, sweater, yeah. So this is not usually what I go for. I think I can wear this with a dress or a skirt. Like, I don't like wearing pants. These are the only, I'm gonna have to. These are the only pants that I have. And they are boxy Pennywise. Do you guys know that the actor is Bill Skarsgård? Peter Scotch Court, he's Swedish. Sorry. But yeah, uh, the sleeves, I've never made sleeves this long. They are, it's very oversized. We like that though. <sighs> Gotta breathe. Very oversized. Very comfortable when I'm sitting at home. I've worn it for an hour or something, but it's very comfortable. So it's, so, it's soft. Comfortable, not too warm. Obviously, it's a thin DK weight and you can, it's kind of see-through a little bit, which is nice. Here's what I'm thinking though. If, you see, I kind of just lose all the shape like this. Um, and I usually go for something that had, I've tried to put it like in, but now that it's blocked, I'm thinking one thing that I could do is unravel the entire uh, one by one ribbing. But then I feel like it's strange. I have ribbing here, 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 but not here. I don't know. Should I do that? I just, I've frogged so many things recently. I don't want to frog. Oh! But I think it would look, it would still be oversized. It would look even cuter on top of a dress. And then maybe like this week, weekend, frogging. What do you think? Yeah. 
It's been like five minutes since um, that footage from before and I'm already unraveling this. So here at the 2x2 two two ribbing, I attached a new ball of yarn. So I'm nervous. Mm. I'm nervous to get to this point because I'm going to have to do a magic knot, I think, with this. But I did do magic knots in the beginning of this project because it's super wash, so I couldn't do spit splicing. But then two magic knots, and I do them so carefully, ended up getting loose. So for the rest of the project, I've just attached new yarn all the time. And that's what I've done here. Um, so I'm going to have to do a magic knot, I think. I don't know. But what I'll do is I'll have two by two ribbing now at the bottom. So I'm not going to do an Italian bind off here. I'm just going to grab like, I used a 4.5 millimeter needle for this. I'm going to go for maybe like a six and do a bind off, a regular bind off by just knitting and purling, knitting and purling. It's a couple of hours later. I just took a shower, but I fixed it. I'll show you better tomorrow, <laughs> but the bind off is a bit wavy, but I I don't care if it's a lot better right now. I'm watching Trixie Motel at the moment. It's a lot of fun. So I'll look at the roses I got a couple of days ago. They're still going pretty strong. It's looking quite cute. Good morning. It is almost 11, so I need to go inside and work until 4 p.m. but I'm not gonna film a lot today because I haven't asked for permission or anything so it feels a bit strange but I'm gonna go inside and if there's time I'll show you around a little bit but keep in mind I I'm gonna talk about this more later but I am planning my Swedish yarn store series so we'll film more but I'll show you a little bit and I'm also gonna show you how the outfit is today but let's go inside Just a quick overview of Anna's absolutely beautiful store. Jameson and Smith, Kalinka. I know a bunch of you guys are gonna love this. Knitting for Olive, the queen herself. New orders for Knitting for Olive. Awkward silence. <laughs> And we just got in some pure silk. So that's... <gasps> okay, I need to go away from there. These beautiful project bags. It's dangerous for me to be here. <laughs> now that I'm on a no buying yarn thing. Oh my god. But yeah. I'm gonna open this door and work. And I'll see if I see you again. <laughs> today. Here. I forgot to show you my Ingrid sweater. Here we go, <laughs> if you can see that. I have to show you the prettiest color I think for all of hats. Ice blue. Wow. I'm done for the day. I hope you can hear me over the AC. I have some yarn with me on the way home, but it's fine. This is not for me, I'm gonna tell you later. And I got a coffee. And I'm just gonna drive home. Okay, so it's just gonna take me five minutes to drive home. The work I had before this, I drove for like an hour to and from work separate, separate times. So I'm very glad that this is close by. I've talked a lot today. <laughs> it, it was fun though. The people who came in were so sweet, but I'm tired and I just need to go home and shut the Hi, back home. I got these in the mail today. They were way too expensive. It's compression gloves. They might be too small. I've had some pain recently, as I told you, and I've always just had like slight issues with my wrists. So um, 
good. Also, I'll wear these to sleep because I I sleep with my hands in my face and I move them. So sometimes I can wake up and have pain because I've been sleeping on my wrist, strangely. So this will be nice. I just want to show you the yarn that I got today. Now, <laughs> you may think, Alexandra, weren't you supposed to buy any yarn? Well, this is different because this is Anna, the owner, asked me if I could knit up an Ingrid slipover to have in the store. One strand of this Cumbria yarn is enough to hit gauge. I'm, I may have to do some magic with it. We'll see. I am excited to make another slipover because I notice that I kind of don't have to follow the, the diagram. I don't want to say chart because it sounds bad. <laughs> My accent makes it a completely different word. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to knit it. I'm not excited to make another swatch. Can I not do that? I had, as you saw, maybe. Um, I'll cut it in here again. Anyhow, I was choosing between a different, some different colors. We have a lot of colorful colors as well, but I also wanted to enjoy knitting it. And sometimes I can find it quite boring if I don't like the color and I want to keep this up. So I ended up choosing this. Now this yarn looks very different in different lighting, like in the store. When I carried it around, it looked green sometimes, beige sometimes. So I'm curious to see if there's any difference here compared to this. It obviously looks more green, I would say here, but it is a beautiful beige brown. We have another cardigan knit up and the, like, I found a color that was not white and not beige, but we already have something knitted up in that color. So I decided to go with this and then <laughs> A woman came into the store and she was pangirling over my Ingrid sweater with her friend. I'm gonna move this because she had just, they had talked about looking for yarn for that sweater. So I could tell her about the construction and everything and it was really nice. And she went with the same color. So that was nice. Uh, yeah, I just think it's like a darker color than she has in the picture, between it, put it up here, um, but I think it's nice, but then again, I had a darker brown that I was thinking about as well, but with her Ingrid slipover that is like dark gray, I feel like you can't see the details as much, so this will be a nice color. I, oh my god, my roses have no water. Remind me that I need to fill this with water. I don't know how you're gonna remind me, <laughs> please do. Um, That's not enough, but you know what? I... Guys... I did buy yarn <laughs> for myself. Today, it was almost three times that I went and bought yarn. Like, merino. I was looking at a dark green merino. Um, putting together yarn for a white slipover. Like, this job is dangerous. It's good for me, because I see other people buying stuff and I don't do it. But then again... When there's no one there and it's just me looking at knitting for all the mohair like what am i supposed to do but i managed not to buy anything because um i got this today i will not have anything tomorrow though so i can't promise that i won't buy anything tomorrow but i did buy some drops kit silk <laughs> on a whim i don't know my mind i caked up the beige through Valborg yarn that I bought recently, if you saw my podcast. And I was gonna make a cumulus blouse out of it, and I bought that yarn specifically to make a summer top because it has silk in it. But I cast it on for the cumulus top, and I just- I wasn't having it. It was- mm -mm. nope. Nope. So I looked at patterns for an entire day, and I ended up my mohair to go with it. I think it'll be fine though because it's 70% merino and 30% silk in the Fleur Valboy yarn. So I think that together with the mohair, it will be the same thing, just like me. I don't know. And I'm gonna make this Sunday sweater mohair edition. I bought the pattern as well. 
because I, I cannot do summer tops. I, I tried to start the Vegas tub as well. I bought the pattern for that. I just, I what did the provisional cast on. It kind of worked, but I used too big of a needle. I'm just having a period where nothing really works without mohair. I've never had this issue when I use mohair. So I just, I need to knit something with mohair. I don't care that it's summer. I can wear tank tops and normal t-shirts. I, I will make like the June top by Bettina with my silk. I don't know what's happening, but I my yarn arrives later this week, I think, maybe on Saturday, Friday. I'll start the Ingrid Slipover today because Penrose Knits uploaded a new podcast and I think High Fiber Knits did as well. So I just want to sit down and knit for a while. Um, yeah. I'm really, if you watch this far, I'm really happy. This is like, I'm putting no effort in. I'm just talking. So I'm very excited if you watch this, but yeah. Taking a five minute break. Here's how far we've gotten. Hello. It's Friday. I've been working all day and I just closed the shop. I just, my voice. <laughs> I just need to turn off the lights and then I have some packages, some orders that I need to drive and leave. So you people who bought yarn can get your whatever. I'm just gonna show you my favorite part of this job, this thing. Can you see? It's unstable. Look. Mm -hmm. You can take it down and then you can also... And it's my favorite thing to do. I'm so short, so I always have to reach stuff or get a stand on something. But now I have this, and I just want this in my life, like regular, reg, regularly. Fun fact: the hardest English words that exists are the "le" words, like jewelry, jewelry, or literally, whatever. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna record an intro for this um, video because I need to explain what this video was. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this chaotic vlog. Bye.